The National Democratic Congress was birthed by former President Jerry John Rawlins. The NDC was formed as a ruling party ahead of the general elections in 1992, which saw Rawlins getting elected as president. The party can boast of producing three presidents in the Fourth Republic, Rawlins from 1992 to 1996, John Atamels from 2008 until his demise in 2012, and John Dramani Mahama, who took over from the late Professor Mills and won the 2012 elections until 2016, when he lost to the NPP's Nana Ekufado. The NDC party has its symbol as the umbrella and the head of a dove at the tip. Its party colors are red, white, green and black. Its slogan is unity, stability and development. At its 29th anniversary, the General Secretary of the party, Johnson Isidio Nketia, said the party's achievement could not be compared to other political parties. You agree with me that maybe our performance could have been better, but as we stand here, the NDC remains the most successful party in Ghana since our independence. So we have every reason to be proud of our party. When it comes to development, NDC arguably is a political party that has a track record that will be difficult to beat by any other party in this country. The 2020 running mate of the party, Professor Nana Jeno Pukwajiman, paid tribute to founding members of the party and called on members to strive to do better to keep their legacy. These are people who stood their grounds. They stood their grounds in many ways. And I think what must have kept them going was a vision of a prosperous, of a peaceful country. What is our own vision today? Definitely, it has been a long walk, and I'd like to hope that, I'd like to believe that it's been longer than 29 years, and it will be much, much, much longer going forward. But a lot of it depends on how we are walking the talk today that will give the younger generation the, the hope that, yes, it is possible. The national chairman of the party, Samuel Ofusampofu, also urged the secretariat of the party to revive the Heroes Fund to offer support to the aged and incapacitated members of the party. I therefore want to use this occasion to ask the secretariat of the party, together with FEC and NEC, to revive the Heroes Fund. Several of our people have been maimed. We can talk about our brother Yaro, who had gone through several operations and still undergoing. Two years on, after the Ayawasu West were gone, he hasn't been able to walk and going through a lot of pain. He and several others ought to be visited. So our Heroes Fund must be revived. And let us contribute something small to the Heroes Fund. So that we'll be able to visit these people for them to know that the NDC is a party worth dying for.